Iran Opposition President Maryam Mojave pays tribute to Senator John McCain. Mrs. Maryam Mojave, President of the Iranian Opposition Group, the National Council of Resistance of Iran, sent a message expressing her deepest condolences to the family of Senator John McCain after his passing this weekend. Her tweet read, My most profound condolences to the McCain family on the passing of Senator John McCain. He will always be remembered for his support for PMOI slash MEK members under the Mullah's attack in Camp Ashraf and introduction of a bill to protect them. Senator McCain praised the Iranian opposition, setting an example for the entire world and proving anyone will be able to obtain freedom if determined and willing to sacrifice for it. Iranian Communities International Conference in 20 cities commemorates the 30th anniversary of the 1988 massacre. Iranians commemorated the 30,000 political prisoners massacred in Iran in 1988 in an online conference simultaneously held in 20 major cities and capitals of Europe and North America. Mrs. Maryam Mojave, the president-elect of the National Council of Resistance of Iran, former U.S. Congressman Patrick Kennedy, European elected representatives, as well as a number of political and religious dignitaries and jurists participated in these gatherings. Representatives of nearly 250 Iranian associations participated in the conference, made speeches explaining their activities and expressing the demands of the Iranian communities throughout the world, declaring support for the Iranian resistance and solidarity with the Iranian people's uprising for the Iranian regime's overthrow and the establishment of freedom and democracy. Funeral in Maravan turns into anti-government protest. Despite the heavy presence of security forces, the people of Maravan, Kurdistan, gathered for the funeral of six people who died on Saturday and staged demonstrations against the government. On Saturday, bombings by the Revolutionary Guards resulted in fires in Maravan forests. Also, the explosion of an undetonated projectile resulted in the death of six environmental activists. Subsequently, the people of Maravan protested to the killing of their fellow citizens. On Sunday morning, people from Sanandra and other cities of Kurdistan province headed to Maravan to attend the funeral of the six victims. To prevent news of the potential protests from spreading, the Iranian regime has obstructed access to internet in the area, but the measure hasn't prevented activists from posting photos and videos of the ceremony and the protests online. Iranian regime's parliament impeaches Rouhani's finance minister. As internal debates flare among the Iranian regime's factions, the Mullah's so-called parliament impeached Masoud Kabazian, the finance minister of President Hassan Rouhani's cabinet, on Sunday. 137 members voted for impeachment, as opposed to 121 against, with two abstentions. Analysts believe the impeaching of two Rouhani ministers in a short period is a clear indication of how the Iranian regime is facing an utter impasse as crippling domestic and international crises escalate. The Iranian people are continuing to protest and launch strikes against the country, and this phenomenon is playing an important role in the Mullah regime literally tearing apart from within. <laughs>